Hello, today I'm going to quickly explain what a VPN service is, how it works, and what the benefits are. I'm going to simplify many technical things for the sake of making it easy to understand. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Many years ago, VPNs were only used by businesses to grant remote access to their private office network and servers to remote users such as work-at-home employees, traveling employees, or even to connect the business databases between offices. Today, VPN services have become a popular consumer service and are essentially used to protect and privatize your online data, as well as dozens of other benefits. To put it very simply, when you're using your computer and you're browsing the internet, the internet is a system of pipelines, essentially. So anytime you're interacting between computers or servers, your traffic is going through that pipeline, and it's going, most cases, publicly. So for example, let's say you're at a coffee shop and you're using the public Wi-Fi. Well, your traffic that you're sending is being sent over those lines where people can compromise the data, see where you're going, things of that nature. Now, what a VPN does is it allows you to essentially turn that traffic and encrypt it. It acts as a gateway between that connection, essentially giving you a private line for you to send your data between. Now, this is used in so many ways. Not only is it used to protect your data, but it allows you to disguise yourself and act anonymously. It allows you to act as if you were in a different location, for example. So you can connect to your VPN and then act as if, let's say you are in Japan and you wanna get access to United States services, you can VPN through a United States server so that your traffic is encrypted and sent along anonymously as if you were through the US. This is probably the most popular use for VPN service today allowing you to unlock online streaming channels across the world, including sporting events that are often blocked to the country where the broadcaster is located. Beyond these uses, masking your IP location comes with many possible benefits. For example, if you're traveling overseas and need to call back home using a VPN or voice over IP service, you can save money and tons of it by simply switching your VPN server to match the country you need to call in. If your ISP happens to throttle your speeds when downloading torrents or streaming, VPNs can effectively remove those speed caps. So why should you use a VPN or why should you even consider you know, setting up that service? Well, like I just mentioned, public Wi-Fi. If you are ever in a case where you're using public Wi-Fi, nowadays we have so much private and sensitive data on our computers, whether it's public banking we're signing into, emails, etc., you want to be safe, you want to be secure. Connecting through a VPN when you're on public Wi-Fi ensures that your data is encrypted. It adds a second layer of security to your traffic. This way, nobody who is browsing or kind of snooping on the network can get access to your data. It's encrypted, it's anonymous. Another big thing, like I just mentioned, geo-restricted content. Hulu and Netflix are a big example of this. You can't get access to those in specific countries. Going through VPN allows you to do such a thing. Or if you're just living in an area where websites are blocked, again, due to specific IP addresses, a VPN will actually change your IP address to appear as if you were browsing through another country. And last but not least, just an overall secure data. It's just a great practice to secure your data no matter what you're doing, whether you're on public Wi-Fi, whether you're at home or at the office. VPN, make sure that everything is secure and make sure that you're completely anonymous when you're searching and surfing the web and streaming content. It's just a great layer of security overall to have on your network. Now, as far as compatibility goes with VPN, there's a lot of different services out there that support a ton of formats. So for example, TunnelBear, when we've reviewed on our site, supports Android, it supports PC and Mac, it supports iOS for iPhone and iPad. So for most services, you'll have all devices supported, desktop, mobile, even uh, again, your iPhones and Android phones, they have apps that you can set up VPN. They have methods for you to set up VPNs on. This allows you to, whatever device you're using, uh, secure your traffic and browse through uh, geo-restricted content. So if you're on your iPhone, you want to get access to Spotify, you can do that. If you're on your desktop, you want to get access to Netflix, you can do that as well. Uh, most services support all platforms across the board. And speaking of services, the way most VPN services typically work, yes, there are free plans, but typically they'll go off of a subscription method. You can see a big list of reviews of the ones that we've checked out on our site. They have, you know, occasionally like one month plans, a year plan, or six month plan, uh, typically offering you uh, specific feature sets. And some services have more servers in specific countries. So it's worth looking at 
different services to see, you know, if you need servers in the United States, if you need servers in Asia, uh, et cetera, or Europe to where you want to tunnel and traffic to, you can see the compatibility list. You can see how many IPs they offer. If they offer unlimited server switching, like pure VPN does, this means you can traffic through the United States and then you want to switch, you can switch to the UK and you can switch to Japan, you know, all at your leisure. And they offer at a more advanced level, different levels of connection. So you have things like PPTP, L2TP, IPsec, et cetera. These are much more advanced protocols for you to log in through and different security types. But all again, many, many services out there typically offering a subscription plan for you to sign up to and then get tunneling. So that in an essence is what VPN is. It's a great and simple way to browse efficiently, securely, and anonymously through the internet, allowing you to uh, add that extra layer of security, whether it's just for protecting your data, browsing and completely anonymous, not having websites track any of your data, not having them, uh, you know, uh, take any information, personal information when you're browsing certain sites. And overall, just browse efficiently. You can get access to data that you normally wouldn't be able to, like Netflix, like Hulu, like Spotify, all via VPN, virtual private networks. Thanks for watching. This video was presented by vpnpick.com. Visit us for more VPN reviews and tips for better securing your data online.